Hello everyone, today's problem is economic dispatch and the name is determination of economic operating point for three units using MATLAB. So the economic dispatch is the process of determination of the output power generated by the unit to supply the specified load in a manner that will minimize the total cost of fuel. The purpose of economic dispatch is to determine the optimal power generation of the units participating in supplying the load. So we need to find the number of uh, find the power that will be generated by each unit so that the total cost of uh, fuel will be minimum. So here is the problem. I will be solving by writing the code. Here we are we have our H1, H2, and H3 for three unit and the fuel cost for this three unit, unit one, two, three. And after that there is the maximum and minimum limit for this uh, three unit. So we need to have the range between them and if it is not in between them then we need to have some corrective method and here we need to determine the economic operating point for these three unit when delivering the total of 850 megawatt and here so first we need to follow this uh, process for solving this you can find this uh, in your book also so here i need to first uh, we need to first calculate f1 by multiplying h1 with the fuel cost so we will get this kind of equation so after this f1 f2 and f3 we will uh, write a equation for the total power we need to actually uh, get 850 megawatt from this three unit so p1 p2 and p3 if we sum sum all these three unit we need to get 850 megawatt and here after this we need to solve this uh, by differentiating them and so all of this will be equal to lambda so here after differentiating we will get equation like this and here you can see that if we actually differentiate this equation it will become like this so after this we will solve this three equation all the all of these have lambda on the right side and let's go to the next image so here is the next part if we solve this we will actually get this three equation for p1 p2 and p3 with the equation with lambda as the variable here and if we actually solve these equations we will get the value of lambda and if we put that value in those p1 p2 and p3 we will get the total amount of uh, or total amount of power that will be generated by each of this unit and here is the answer so as you can see that the value is actually inside the range of the minimum and maximum value as we have seen in the previous um, photo here so we don't need to correct this we just need to write the code simply so let's go to MATLAB and start writing the code here so P will be a variable we need to initialize all the variables that we will use inside our code so P will be equal to 0 and here we need to use this variable for solving our equation p1 p2 p3 and the lambda i will just name it l and after defining them okay after declaring these variables we need to take a input that will be our power total power p so let's take the input like this and keep it inside a variable called a and after this we will write the h1 h2 and h3 here so we need to write these values from this part After this, P will be equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3 and this will be as equal to A. That is our input. You can write directly A equal 850 if you don't want to take an input. And if you actually give this option, then you can give any power there and for this code. So after this, we will just write the fuel cost for 3 unit.
and then we will calculate the cost by multiplying them cost for each unit so we will multiply our fuel cost for unit 1 with h1 and like this we need to do this for 3 unit so h2 and h3 and here cost 2 and cost 3 that will be assigned to f2 and f3 so after all these things we need to calculate the total cost and before that we need to actually uh, calculate the differentiation here let me just check if they are working properly or not okay okay let's give 500 here okay undefined function or variable p1 i probably write something wrong here let me just check again okay i wrote the capital p by but my variable was small p now it is all right and here you are actually getting this uh, division here but we need to actually have the um, fractional value we will get it at the end and if we want to see the cost we can actually see the cost from this part 850 megawatt so here is the cost of this um, the equation but if you actually find the result by dividing those those values you will get the actual value that is in the problem given and here now we will differentiate these variables so here we need to give the variable like this df1 by dp1 df2 by dp2 so like this we need to give them and assign lambda after this each of this equation on the right side so d1 will be equal to differentiate of d1 by p1 and here that will be equal to lambda and we need to have this for three unit so d2 this will be f2 and p2 and here d3 that will be differentiation between f3 and p3 and after all this we need to solve these three equation by solving this we will be writing it like this uh, solve d1 d2 d3 and p p was our total power that we need to generate and here p1 will be equal to solve dot p1 by writing like this we can get the value of p1 the power unit that will be generated by each unit so like this we can show the output okay now let's run this again and 850 megawatt and here is the result okay we need to get the fractional value not just like this so for that first let's uh, write the lambda and now we need to write them in double so let's write double function before each of this Now if we write again 850 megawatt and here if we getting the values now let's check if the values are matching with the answer given here okay so 393 334 and 122 and the lambda value of lambda is 19.148 and here also the value are matching so that means the problem is done here we don't need to correct the value of lambda because all the um, unit is actually in between the maximum and minimum range given here and if you want to actually round this value then you can do it you will just get the value uh, integer value here 